Well, it's like this. I had a few minutes. Barb had kind of a bad day yesterday, so I wasn't out here with the doctor today. And amongst everything else going on, I decided I'd spend a just a few minutes right here just puttering on something of my own. Um, I think tomorrow I should be out here on somebody else's saw. I don't know which one yet. We'll see. Uh, got my little buddy out here. Yeah, see, he's out here helping, isn't he? Yeah, you guys predicted that. Okay, what we're doing is I just degreed the uh, that 285 with the 2100 piston. I was going to bring you up to speed on a couple little things about this. It's going to probably take me two months to build this puttering at it. So what I did is I got a nice box and I'll take it out, put it back in when I got just a few minutes. Because I've got my putter work stuff caught up. Now it's all big builds. I don't like, when I start on them, I don't like to stop until the end of the day. They really will suffer otherwise. Something like this is my own. Oh, I'll just, I'll just dink around at it a few minutes at a time. Because if I lose parts or nuts or screws or something, it's on, it's on me. No, it's on me anyway. But I just try to avoid that happening. So I'm going to spin my degree wheel back off. Because I know we got our numbers. If I can. Somebody tighten it on there pretty good. I think they're afraid of it falling off, weren't they? Yes, they were. I had some odd numbers. As you know, this is a 285. And I'm using a 2100 piston cylinder on it. Which is a good move. It really is. Uh, the 285 shares the same stroke as the 2100. 40 millimeter. But the 285 is a 52 millimeter. 2100 is 56. Just like 66 magnums, 56. 394, 395 huskies are all 56. See, that's what I do all day. I drop stuff. That's what I do. Okay, so we did that, but I'm going to tell you what I had to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little bit. Um, I had to cut quite a bit off of this skirt of this piston for some reason. Even though they're the same crank, it was like the, the throws were bigger on this. I don't know if there was an earlier or late or something. It might have been something to do with that. So when I did that... I cut that off so it'd clear the crank, and I darn near messed up. Now you know they don't make these. You can't you can't get the piston, you can't get the cylinder. So you screw one of these up, you're done. You are done. So but I didn't hurt nothing. It uh the view on this camera's different. Yeah, see the stove's back over here. Uh you guys are right. I just had to flip my view and my camera. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. Colton did. He did it. So, the stove moved back over. But I'm going to tell you what. If I wouldn't have had writing on a t-shirt or wearing my hat, if I would have said the world's only left hand 2100, of course, we'd have to show the stove to the other side of something, but it'd been worth it as a good joke. The only left-handed 2100. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would have got me, too. Uh, video before last, uh, I had my sonic cleaner going. I was buzzing like crazy. We won't do that again. Uh, that's just, that wasn't, that wasn't something I needed to do. But we have a good crank. We have good brains in this. I'm going to give the seals a chance because you can replace them. Uh, like I said, this is not nothing. This is putter work. This is just to get out of the house. As soon as Barb, uh, gets back town, her daughter ran her town, so when she gets back, I'm going to have to shag it, guys, so if it's a six-minute video, that's what happened, um, but I'm going to tell you what, that uh, timing on that is amazing, this is rough, now, I wish, well, I got a cylinder similar, if you can see that, that's, that's, that's factory. Okay, there's quite a, quite a difference. 
You see what I mean? There's quite a difference, isn't there? I'll tell you why. This timing, and this is notorious for 2100s. Now, I'm going to tell you, I built a Bean 2100. Now, I, I know we've seen other guys build them, and they're happy with them, and they run good. You, I mean, it's a 99cc, 100cc saw. What do you think it's going to do? It's going to pull like crazy, no matter what you do to it. I like a little more than that, because I can. I don't want to blow these up, so I didn't want to hit stiff numbers. I really did not. But I didn't have much choice. Because here's where I almost screwed up. I'm going to get away with this. Barely. Um, my intake timing. After I cut that cylinder. Ended up being a total opening of 162. Okay. Yeah. That's just pushing it. Uh, 160, I consider my absolute max, uh, quite honestly. But 162, now that's dry. It's going to be just a little less than that. And I'm, but because of the sheer size of the saw, I think I'm going to get away with it. Uh, it's it's not going to be a big deal. It ain't like 169 or something like I've seen uh, other saws end up, and and you can't do nothing with them. So I, I'll get away with that. But my timing was terrible. Let me get this. Let me read this because I had to do several corrections just to, I couldn't believe what I was seeing for numbers. Uh, my original exhaust opening was 104. Okay. 100, it might have been about 105. Okay. We raised the roof a little bit and you get better, better uh, numbers. Okay, but something, guys, that are important is the difference between your exhaust opening, first ray of light, you see break, to your transfer opening. I'm, I'm going to tell you, honestly, some of you guys out there that are building saws, you'll get them to scream, but you can't get them to pull. And you don't think you went too far on the exhaust. I'll tell you what it is, is your your exhaust or your transfer opening is too close to the exhaust opening. I shouldn't I shouldn't even say this, but I'm gonna tell you what the deal is. I like to see 24, 25 uh, degrees difference. Okay. Now in this case here, I'll tell you what I had. I had 16 dang degrees. Yes, I had 16 degrees. It was horrendous. So that means 16 degrees after my exhaust opening, my transfer is opened. Well, the exhaust isn't all the way out yet. Or it's not even begin to. You got It has to go a few more degrees before your exhaust gets out. Okay. Um, I was wanting to get 27, 28 degrees difference uh, between the exhaust opening to the transfer opening. I really hope to see that. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to tell you, I push my numbers. And we're going to end up with a rev heavy saw. If I ain't careful, which I think we're really going to between that intake side and what's uh, we're going to do to the transfers uh, to make things work right. We ended up with exhaust opening is 94, 9.4. Now that's getting into... 16,000 RPM saw territory it's starting to get there. It's 15, 16,000. We're not going to run this as hard. No. So we're going to, we're going to make the difference up in the transfers, but that got me, uh, a really nice figure. I got 25 right on the money from exhaust opening, which is 94 degrees after top dead center. I've got 25 degrees later, my transfer is opening. That was important to me. Now, if this would have been a 70cc saw, I would not have chased it like that. I would not have. No, I would not have done it. Uh, that would have thought that had been freaking pretty crazy. So, that's what you get. This particular saw has been... Uh, a hard one to build for me, as we talked about it in another video. 
the 2100s. I just couldn't get enough parts. But we have this 20, 285 that'll make a 2100. It'll still be a 285, but it'd be a 2100. We went through that, didn't we? Okay. I do have a little cleaning up to do. Uh, I ended up not doing squat on that intake. Quite honestly, that is already a nice size intake. It really is. I think... Oh, another thing I did do. I don't know how long ago I did. It was a long time ago. Probably last year. I ordered the rings. They're cabers. For the saw. Well, we didn't know we were going to get this saw. It was going to be for that saw. That's what it's going to be. What do you know, buddy? Yeah, he wants to hang out. We decided to let him, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. Now, these transfers and these 2100s, I'm going to tell you, are sadly lacking. Okay. That's another thing that people that tried didn't really get it. And I'm not sure I can get where I can show you, but I'm going to do my darndest. Let's see, if I get a flashlight. I removed a lot of material. Just, boy, I'll tell you what, I like that camera. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, there's been, there was some big humps. We curled that down just a little bit, that opening of that transfer. I am not done with my finish work in this particular one. But I'm going to tell you, that transfer... Looks like that. Well, let me turn it around. It looked like that. Okay. See that? Kind of get a clear picture. See how horrible them transfer openings were? Okay, here's what we got. See how we did there? My goodness sakes, you know what? This is actually better than I thought. So what we're going to do... Bear with me. There's the one I did. And that's kind of what we had. I see quite a difference there. I can't tell you everything about the 2100 builds, guys. And I apologize for that. There's a couple things that's just a little bit hairy to do. That makes them really noticeable. The one thing don't be afraid of is to, get, is to clean up the inside of your piston where the, you know, you know, you got rough spots. Just clean that up. You, I'm saving weight on this piston, but I'm going to warn you: these pistons are known to break right down here on the bottom, right in there. They know they're all of them are. That's where they want to break. So you got to leave that material there. Now, you can clean some up on the inside, but boy, you don't mess with that webbing in there much. That's just clean it up. That's all you got to do. That's generally worth the gains right there. Uh, carburation. What do we want to do for carburation? Uh, I, I, I can take... See, these were governed. These carburetors were governed on these. They really were. But... Now that Dave at CCC is carrying these carburetors, these x -Torque carburetors I showed you, um, I really think that I'd like to run one on the saw. I really do. This is the old cylinder. I want to see if there's any reason I couldn't bolt that on. It doesn't look like there's any reason. Nasty sized little carburetor. But I've got oh two hours worth of work to do on this cylinder to get it all the way right. And I'll do that. But I won't uh I, I'm not gonna do it today. It's, I gotta feed horses and see Barb's always fed the horses. I she did do it last night, she's quite honest. I didn't feel very good. I really didn't. Uh, she fed them last night. 
Okay, now what I gotta do is this is not the cylinder I'm using. This is the cylinder I'm using. I'll put that intake on. I don't know how boring that is, but it's what I'm doing, so I'm gonna share it with you. We think a 10 man's 266 build. I predict that thing's gonna be stupid, I really do. I need a four inch metal tray right at between me and this bench. That's what I need. I don't these old intakes, I don't get real carried away with that. In fact, I didn't even take the old gasket off. Uh, it looked very good. I am going to... You over-tighten these, and you break these, and you'll cry. Because I know that I would. I really would. See, there's the carburetor was on it. It's a little brass screw right there. That's where your governor is. You can plug that hole. I, I do it with a JB weld. I take that brass screw out, leave it out. And I chemically clean that and get in there poke around and, and I get it I get it cleaned out pretty good but what I want to do I want to see how this fits in the event I decide to use it so I'm just going to go ahead and bolt this darn booger up and we're going to do a little test run This camera looks way different even if, see, I get C. See, I'm using my front camera. I'm not even using the good ones. I'm using that front camera, which is way better than I had. And uh, things look different to me. I, I can see it. And I know they do to you, too. Okay. Boy, this is a grubby old thing. I started cleaning it, and I got some of the stuff off. But as old as this saw is... Uh, I'm not real concerned. I just I just don't want anything inside it. I want that clean. Okay, now I'm not tightening this all the way up. So what I want to do is compare notes. As far as where did that carburetor go? Do I have enough holes? Okay, I see one little problem already. We have a little piece there. It's going to have to be removed. It's touching. See what else is causing me grief. I might have to plug this. I might I don't know about what maybe I'll use that. That or I'll 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 just change the lid and drill a hole. I can do that too. See they uh it's hard to see in this car, but let me get the other one. I think this one's short. I dropped something. Oh, it's hope. The uh It's that little hole right there, right by my finger. It comes right through that intake block. The vacuum does. It comes through that hole uh, to make the cardboard. That's where it picks the vacuum up. And I can tap in. I can use that. I've done it with other saws because it's blocked right now. This, these extort carbs don't have that. But it's blocked right now. So, by just eyeballing... It looks like where my throttle rod, that hole right there is going to be cracked. Um, here's where the throttle rod is. The hole right there by my finger. So I think that's going to work. Choke. Choke is in the right spot. Lever down. Yeah, this is in the right spot right there. Lever down. Maybe that'll work. Let's see if there's any interference going into this thing. My 
could have saved myself a little time putting this in, but I didn't do it. The length is right. I don't see anything that really changes enough where it's going to give me any grief. My throttle rod's going to go on. I do have a place to put a vacuum line if I so choose to do that. Uh, I might just block this carburetor for right now and work this one up because we will be changing the fuel ratio if we put one of these on us. That's what we'll be doing. Okay. What's your bed and weather been like, guys? Here in the Northeast, we had like a lot of like mid 70s days, mid 60s days, 58 degrees, stuff like that. Now we got cold and rainy. Yeah, cold and rainy. It's not what I was looking for. But, and I'll tell you what, old Arthur got a hold of me this morning. Yeah, arthritis is a bad thing, isn't it? That's a sure sign of all the places you got dents in the past. And that arthritis is in the, it, uh, my hands. They hurt pretty darn bad today. I, I got to admit, I really do. You know, I didn't look at something. Fuel line, no, I'm not going to have any trouble with my fuel line. That's going to come right in where I want it. Um, the saws that we ran when I was young, at least 2100s was one of them. What's up, to? Did you feed the horses? Not yet. Come on in for a second, Barb. Say hi. There's Barb. Hi. <laughs> Who am I talking to? All the subscribers. <laughs> Tell them you're feeling awesome. I'm feeling better. Better, huh? Had a bad day yesterday. Yeah, had a bad day. Yeah. Ran you up to one medicine. And told me that my electrocardiogram was good. EKG's good. So we'll get you back on the racetrack, won't we? Well, damn it, I'm going on. Racetrack like alive. Like yeah, this has been rough for you for a while, isn't it? Yes, it has. It, uh, I see you shaking like crazy. It's cold. It? <laughs> oh, stop from something wrong. Somebody didn't light the fire today. No, they, they didn't light the fire. They didn't light, yeah, they were fired the house in there. Yep, we're going back in there. We're going back in there. You did put a bail in for the horses. Yeah, I put a bail in for the horses. Take care of them little babies. Uh, isn't it nice seeing her again, guys? It is. We're going to have to get her to get a guitar back out anyway. That's what we're going to have to do. You all have a good day. See you later. <laughs> okay, I'll be in a minute, Barb. All right, I'll just Yep. Okay, guys. I think they're going to call that a day right there because it's been a good day. Her daughter took her to her doctor today. That was kind of nice. And uh, I was right in the middle of something, and when I came back home, uh, I see that she left a note. I said, I thought that was next Thursday. No, it was this Thursday. I said, dang, I said, I'm sorry. I said, I was going to take you. No, I wanted to spend time with my daughter, Missy, you know, and... Uh, I says, well, okay, gee, I'd have made a different day out of it, but I got things done that needed to be done. Let's just put it that way. You're going to see soon enough what it is. We will be hopefully running some saws here directly. This is going to be a, a nice little chore to build. This one is. It's going to be a little time consuming because we're going to do it 10 minutes at a time, guys. That's what we're going to do. If she's feeling good tomorrow. I'll be out here bright and early, and we're going to put a saw together. Together. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.